Hi, I'm John Orlando, and I'm going to show you a way to build a really engaging online syllabus using Canva. Now, Canva is a kind of online graphic design tool. It's really powerful and really simple. You can use it for a variety of purposes. Here's an example. I used it to create the first page of a slide presentation for a workshop on how to make videos on your computer. We'll open that and take a look at how that looks. I simply grabbed this template that was already set up and I substituted the text for this text I wanted. Notice that it has a film motif and it has some nice little features like you're invited to this special premiere. So putting that up on the screen as people walk in starts creating the mood that we're going to be talking about film. Now let's take a look at how you can use it to make an online syllabus. I'll go back to the home page and first I'm going to choose a template. So we have a variety of types of templates here. I'm going to go to social media. And within that category, we have more templates. I'm going to choose this one right here. Now you can change anything about the template. You can change text, photos, and things like that. And we are going to change pretty much everything. Let's start with the photo. I'm going to click the photo and simply hit delete. Now I want a photo that matches what the course is about. And let's imagine it's a course on film studies. Now the system actually has a huge amount of photos that you can use, almost a million photos. Most are free and some cost a little bit, like literally a dollar. But I've uploaded some photos and so let's choose one from those. I'm going to choose this one, Godfather, because that's appropriate for film studies. So I'm going to expand this. You can over expand a little bit in order to crop your image center it. Now you notice it covered up the text. So what we're going to do is send it to the background. I simply click the image, I go to position, I click backward. Now it's in the background. Next we're going to change the text. So I'm going to go into the text and I will delete out what I don't want. I don't want these words and I also don't want it on top of the image. So all I'm going to do is move this up and now I'll change it to film studies. There we go. And of course I can move this around. I can change the size of the font. I can change the color of the font all using these simple uh, buttons at the top. Now let's imagine I want to include hyperlinks. So what I want my syllabus to do is simply give a single image that gets students in the mood for the class and then they can click different parts of it to go to different parts of the syllabus. So imagine I divided my syllabus into different parts and I put those into different Google Docs. I'm going to go up and I'm going to find one of those docs. And this isn't a syllabus doc, it's just being used for demonstration purposes. And let's imagine that this document has the topics in my class. I'll just go to share, copy link, I'm going to come back here. So now what I want to do is put a link right here. I'm going to go to elements. I'm going to take a circle. I'm simply going to grab a circle, make it smaller to about the size of his head. I'll go right here and now I'm going to come up to transparency and I'm going to make it zero transparency. So there's a circle there but it's not viewable. Why is that? That's so that I can put my link into that circle and the link won't just activate on the entire photo. That's how you can put links into different parts of, say, a photo. You basically put invisible shapes, like maybe a circle, and then drop a link on top. Now that I have my circle, notice I'm activating that circle. I go up here to the link, I enter it, paste, apply. If I want to see how this is going to look, I come up here, I go to present mode, I go to present, and now here's what it's going to look like as a website. As someone goes across, it becomes a link. Clicks it, and they go to the site I want. Now we're back. Let's imagine there's one other thing I might want to do, and that's to put some kind of text in here as well. I can, of course, add text. I'll just go text. I'll choose a certain type of text I want. I guess this might be good enough. I'm going to put the word topics. I'm going to delete everything else out. I'm going to shrink it down. I'm going to change the color. And by the way, as you're about to see, I have no color sense at all. So I'm not claiming that these are 
any sort of quality colors to use. And sometimes when you put text on top of an image, you have to kind of play around until you find the right color that kind of stands out. And here you go. Now, if it looks a little strange to see a word on Marlon Brando's forehead, one thing I can do is I can change the transparency of the background image a bit. So I'm going to pick the entire background image, come here, I'm going to drop the transparency a bit. And with that, I can put different labels around and it won't look quite as funny because it's clearer that the image is a background image and then we just kind of expect the text to be on top of it. One other thing you can do is add a page. So if I click add a page, I get a blank page. And here you might want to do something a little different if you want to do a syllabus. Instead of linking out to different spots, you can maybe just add pages and add a page for each of the different areas. So here I might want to go topics, delete this out. And let's imagine I'm going to come back here. Again, I'll grab this text. Now I'm going to paste. As you can see, it didn't quite fit the page like I wanted it to. Let's highlight it and go down a little more. Let's go down to 14. That seems to work. Let's change the color. I think this yellow or orange-like color shows up a little better. I'll change the color of this as well. But this is just to show you that I've now added a page. So instead of linking out, the students would simply page forward to find different areas. And that's all you have to do. Now I can download it. Nice thing here is I can download it in a variety of formats. I can download it as a PDF. And the PDF will have active links. So if you're doing a syllabus for ADA purposes, you're probably going to need a PDF that someone can use instead. And this gives it to you right here. So give Canva a try in your own classes. Thanks.